<laughs> oh my gosh, it's 20 degrees out here. And I completely missed the countdown, right? All right, it is sub-zero out here, freezing, and I am shaking, so I'm not going to do too much talking. Over my shoulder here is the moon, and right underneath of it that you can't see is Mars, and Mars will pass behind the moon in about 20 minutes. And I got it set up here. Uh, you can see on my computer I got the edge of the moon where uh, Mars should hit here in about 20 minutes, and the telescope's set up tracking the moon right now. This is kind of an inconvenient time of the night for it to happen just because the moon is so low right now that there's a lot of atmospheric disturbance and it's not going to be a great looking shot, but we'll at least hopefully be able to see an orange ball come and kind of set on the moon because I have my camera oriented that way. And then in an hour, we'll see it rise. And in an hour, the moon will be a little bit higher. So there hopefully will be a little bit less atmospheric disturbance and maybe I'll get a better picture. So. Uh, I'm going to concentrate on getting this thing set up and ready to go. So I just thought I'd show you real quick what I'm talking about uh, when I'm talking about the atmospheric disturbance. This is the best focus I can get on the moon right now. Uh, and I've got Mars coming in on it. I'll show you here. If we just go up, uh, eventually here we're going to see Mars. And you can see how kind of blurry it is. I'm panning up. Up. There we go. So that's coming in on the moon right now and uh, I'll be able to see it virtually set on the moon here in about 12, 15 minutes I guess. Oh my gosh it's 20 degrees out here. Here's my scope temperature. 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, man. All right we're getting close here can almost get it in frame as we're coming down here moon pops up pretty fast okay I'm gonna get a final focus here oh there we go we got it in the same frame so we're getting close to where I'm gonna want to start taking a few pictures Oh, that's awesome. There we go. <sighs> nice. So four minutes, it's supposed to touch the moon. Okay, I'm going to take a couple quick shots here. Boy, it looks blurry, but trust me, it's, it's not. <laughs> it's just the atmospheric disturbance. You can see it coming down here. Let me get this guy out of here. Okay, I'm going to try to rattle off a few more pictures. Okay, here we go. All right, we're doing 100 frame captures. Boy, that is blurry. You can kind of see the ice cap off on the right side. There it goes. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, look at how blurry it's getting. The atmosphere is getting shaky just as it's going behind the moon. Okay, well that was it. Um, that was frustrating. Uh, let me stop the capture. Alright, I got about an hour before it pops out the other side. So I'm going to reorient, reorient the camera 180 degrees on the other side of the moon 
where it's supposed to come out and hopefully with an hour more of altitude we'll get a little bit more stable atmosphere for the Mars rise than we did for the Mars set. Whew. All right, I have moved this operation inside because it is freezing and the whole moon going in front of Mars or Mars going behind the moon didn't go well, partially because I was freezing cold and my fingers didn't work and my brain didn't work. So uh, in four minutes, the moon's supposed to pop out right uh, where, I'm, where I've got my camera focused and hopefully this will go a little bit more smoothly. That's about as good as it's gonna get. Man, that's miserable. Okay, uh, what did I say, 5621. Uh, you know I love a good countdown, so I'll be counting down to 5621, and hopefully it will be on time. Man, look at how disturbed the atmosphere is. That is incredible. What the heck? Come on, <laughs> calm down. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? What is going on here? This is incredible. Okay, I need, oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. There it is, you can see it. And I'm gonna totally miss it because of that focus issue. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to catch it. We'll just watch it on this in real time. That's cool. And then once it pops up here, I'm gonna try to uh, just get some pictures of it. Uh, boy, that focus just turned really miserable at the last second. That was crazy. And we'll grab some captures here. Start, this is, we'll call it Mars. Look at how much disturbance there is in the atmosphere. Ah. And I completely missed the countdown, right? Here, let's take a couple pictures here before it gets out of view. Um, start capture. Come on. No! Oh, it crashed! Oh my gosh! Oh, I love it when Sharp Cap just crashes. Now I gotta wait for it to know that it crashed. Oh well. I'm sure there'll be another Mars occultation in like 10 years or something. Okay, let's start. Let's try this. <laughs> it's so miserable. All right, let's go to Jupiter. <laughs> Maybe Jupiter's better. 